Pants, were you wrestling a squid? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you ladies to your girl talk. I promised Brett we'd do some mashups during lunch. Uh, mashups? I didn't know they were so into music. They're always mashing something. So anyway, this new guy I'm seeing is really into foreplay, and I want to return the favor. But dicks are just so confusing. I hear ya. I hate it when guys make me queef. Mm. So be super careful you don't make him quaff. Well, that's what I'm worried about. Ugh, it's so gross. Uh, a queef is a vagina fart, right? What is a quaff? A quaff's a dick queef. A dick fart. I, I don't think men quaff. Yeah, air gets up in there and <laughs> pops right out. How does air get stuck up there? Blowjobs. That's not how blowjobs work. <laughs> No more blowjobs, Wendy. They make men quaff. If a guy was shoving jelly beans or M&Ms in his dick... That's in your mouth, not in your dick. <laughs> like a gunshot. It's just like a snake spitting out a frog. <gasps> Suck jobs are fine, though. You think there's a difference? Please tell me you haven't literally been blowing air into the dick. <laughs> Actually, suck jobs prevent male quaff, according to leading Research. Regular sex is fine too. So are hand jobs, slam jobs, cram jobs, crush jobs, and even ham jams. Wait, what? Did she just say ham jam? She's right. Those are all quaff friendly jobs or jams. Guys, quaffs are not real. <laughs> <laughs> quaff. The plural of quaff is quaff. <clears throat> quaff are not real. There is no way to cause dick farts. Do you not watch Fox News? I prefer a less slanted source of information, thanks, Patty. Do you not know about the end of days and how the homosexual community will cause it with quaff? Fox News is ridiculous. This is all ridiculous. It's not a gay or straight thing. Quaff is quaff. But quaff do have a huge carbon footprint. Watch MSNBC. Do you think that the quaff that ends the world is absurd? Yeah, that's absolutely absurd. Call me crazy. But I fear the quaff to end all quaff. It was prophesied by Quaffstradamus in the Middle Ages. Sure, a quaff is dangerous, but dick mashing doesn't mean someone's gay. Right? I mean, can't two guys just mash dicks without labels? You don't call two women lesbians for scissoring. And nothing's wrong with a good old-fashioned clam jam. It's been clear for centuries that the leading cause of quaff is dick-to-dick -dick intercourse. Two dicks mashing together. Back and forth, smashing the air until it's quaffed. And then the master quaff moves back and forth, dick to dick, over and over, until it gains so much momentum and it becomes so powerful that it rips right through the fabric of space and time. And then what, a black hole? A big black hole. Dickhole. No, there is no such thing as a quaff, and there is no gay-related doomsday. And that's not even how men have sex together. Mashing dicks? Come on. Guys, help me. <gasps> I was mashing dicks with Brent, and then my dick exploded from a mega quaff, and Brent's dead. Dick on dick sex blows up dicks every time. How long before it kills us all? That's not even how gay sex works! We're not gay, we were just mashing dicks! Right? Oh my god! I get it now! Mashups! Because of the dick smashing together! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bleeding so much. I'm sorry.